Hi guys, today we're going to continue on with our Unit 10 Classwork Packet. We're going to focus on page 14 at the very bottom. Once again, that's our Unit 10 Classwork Packet. We're going to focus on page 14 at the bottom. Now, I don't really want to go ahead and fill in information for Angle 1 and Angle 2 in the example because this is kind of easier to show than it is to try to put a name to, all right? But the basic idea is this. Let's say that I have a circle, all right? Let's say that I have a circle, and let's say that I have uh, these two lines that are secants, right? Meaning they touch the circle twice, but they go all the way through. Let's say I have those. The basic idea is this. Let's say I'm dealing with this angle right here, okay? Let's call that x. Now, this angle x, there's going to be a relationship between it, and by the way, this is also x, and these two arcs that this angle intercepts. And here's that relationship. One way of saying it is that this angle is half of the two arcs added up, or if you'd rather, we can say that it takes two of the angles in the middle to make the sum of the arcs. So this right here is actually my preferred way to remember this. It takes two of the angle inside to make the arcs added up outside. For those of you guys who remember, when we were back at school, we did something called the trapezoid mid-segment theorem, just to refresh your memory. Does anybody remember how it took two mid-segments to make the sum of the bases? This is going to be very, very similar. It's going to take two of the angles in the middle, so 2x, to equal arc and arc added together. All right? So to see how this is going to work, let's start off with a relatively easy example, which is number one. Okay? So let's take a look at that, okay? So number one, where did I go? Oh, no. There I am. Number one looks like this. Okay, we're on number, page 14, number one. All right, here's my circle, bada bing, bada boom. There's 45, there's 109, and they're asking us for AED, AED, which is right here. Okay, so again, doesn't matter to me which way you do this. You can say that this is half of these two added up, or you can say it takes two of these to make these. I don't care, all right? But my personal preference is to say that it's going to take two of this to equal these two added up. So 2x equals 45 plus 109. When I do the math there, I get, um, oh, what is that, 154, I think. And thus, x is half of that, which is uh, 75, 77, I believe. Did I do that math right? 75, yeah, okay. So in this case, my angle measure would simply be 77 degrees. Now, let's take a look at a slightly different example. This one's going to be number four, and the reason it's slightly different is that it's going to take a little bit of realizing what we're given and what we are actually being asked for, all right? So let's take a look at number four together. Number four looks like this, all right? I've got, in this case, they're actually just chords, not secants, but it's going to work exactly the same way, all right? They tell me this right here is 74, this is 62. Uh-oh, I don't know this, so I'm going to call that x, right? Because that's what they're asking us to find. Now notice, what does my original theorem say? It says that it takes two of the one inside to make these two added up, right? So I'm going to say 2 times 62, because 2 of the one inside equals 74 plus x. Oh my gosh, do I know how to do algebra? Yes, I do. And now, it's simply a one-step equation, subtract 74 from both sides, and I get that x is 50. All right? This works pretty much the same way as well, right, if you had an algebra-based problem, but um, the, the basic idea is the same. We'll show one more, uh, I don't know, one or two more kind of like applications of this, all right? And that's going to be in a, let's see, do I have an example here? Let's take a look at page 15, number 6. 
Once again, what page? Page 15, number 6. All right, last one for this section. Thank goodness, right? All right, so here we go. There's a uh, tangent, and there's a, not a tangent, I'm so sorry. There's a secant, what am I saying? Secant and another secant. And this is 95, this is 79, and they're asking us to find this right here. Now here's the problem, right? That 79 actually is not the angle we want to use for this. We want to use this angle in the middle. So notice this right here is a line. How many degrees are in a line? 180. So this would have to be 101 by doing 180 minus 79. Now we're ready to do exactly the same thing we did in the previous problems, right? All we got to do is say it takes two of the one in the middle to make the sum of the arcs together, right? So I'm going to say it's going to take me two 101s to equal x plus 95. So that's going to be 202 equals x plus 95. Well, let's just do a little subtraction here. 12. All right, I have to borrow there and borrow there. So I'm going to get 107. Did I do my math right? I certainly hope so. All right. So in this particular case, QT, where'd I go? There I am. QT would equal 107. So in other words, when we're dealing with these kind of problems, it takes two of the one in the middle to equal the sum of the arcs. If you forget it, just think back to trapezoid mid-segment theorem. It works exactly the same 